Hey guys, long time no tutorial. Let's start off with some primed eyelids and this pinky transition color in the crease. Next I'm taking Makeup Geek Bitten, which is an awesome kind of reddish cranberry color and I'm going to apply that sheerly to the crease and build it up gradually. Using a denser brush, I am concentrating the color in my crease. Next, I'm taking a deeper shade leader to continue to give my eyes more dimension. Following leader, <laughs> I am taking the shade Activist, which is a bit deeper and creating more of a smoky effect. It would not be a true The K-Tizzle tutorial without some scotch tape. <laughs> and next I'm taking a matte cream color to clean up that line. Moving down to the lower lash line for a bit here, I'm taking my Jordana eyeliner and smudging it with my e.l.f. sponge brush. And going back to Bitten, I am applying that to the outer half of the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking one of the Milk Makeup Eye Pigments in the shade Gig and applying it to the inner half of my eyelid. These things don't budge. It's kind of crazy. And to top that off, I'm taking one of the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadows in the shade Soiree to add a little more sparkle and rosiness. Moving on to liner, I am taking the L'Oreal Perfect Slim Super Liner and winging it out. Going back to the lower lash line, I'm taking another one of the Milk Makeup Eye Pigments in the shade After Party. <music> Lastly for color, I'm going back in with Soiree and applying it in the middle of my lower lash line. <music> to wrap things up, I am curling my lashes and applying CoverGirl's The Super Sizer Mascara. I do think false lashes make a huge difference on my eyes, so I did add the Ardell Studio Effects number 110s. And that is it for this rosy tone look you guys have been requesting. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, and I will see you next time.